Hi friends, thanks for joining me today. Today we're gonna go over all the different ways that I've used Hobonichi Cousin and what I am planning on using it for, for 2024. I have this stored in my gallon leather A5 zipper and this actually zips right through and it's amazing. So it's not gonna be your like perfect look, right? It's a little bit slanted and so on and so forth, but you know, and that's kind of the reason why it kept me away from using this for so many years. I've had it for a few years, never used it just because I was afraid of getting it dirty. But I will say this little bit of dark spots here doesn't bother me, but what bothers me the most are watermarks. Uh, I just spilled water yesterday here and I was so <laughs> upset but it actually went away there's nothing going on so i will tell you this leather cover is not a bad idea i can't wait to see it patina through the years my hobonichi cousin has been a struggle for me through the years you guys from the get-go okay here in the beginning i've tipped in uh some schedules for my daughter's uh school because that's important uh and then it goes into these um uh, trackers if you will what I am getting a groove of in the month of September, really exciting, is I've used this, you guys, before to track like when kids' glasses were ordered, when the next eye appointment should be, basically as a future log, but now I am not doing that anymore. I have my future log already placed in my Notion, so I am no longer using it as a future log, but this is an amazing place for a future log. So any doctor's appointments do, physicals, all those things that you have to do once a year, twice a year, you can use this um, to effectively keep you on track. For me, what I'm starting to do in the month of September is I am using the dailies over here. So anytime I have special lists that I'm creating, for an, for an instance, I have... Um, I have the brainstorming for some covers that I'm interested in looking. So I would go to 9-13, so September 13. I had some planner covers that I was looking at with Bottega, with my essay, and trying to figure out the dimensions because I was, I was having him to order it for me. So anytime I want to go back and look at it, it's here. This is using this page as not a future log, but more so as a table of content. So different lists that I'm making throughout the year. I'm going to use this as whatever comes up. It could be a meeting memo, brainstorm session, mind map. It could be anything and everything. And I would use the numbers. November would be like 11-4 as a page number rather than a month number. This way, I'm not afraid to use these daily pages because I think the biggest reason why I struggle through the years with this daily is how much real estate is involved, right? There's a lot of empty space and you're like how do i use this and a lot of the times i don't need to write my task list here because i've got my hobonichi weeks for that right i've got my weeks for that and or i have my notion so i don't need to rewrite my task here all the time sometimes what i do is i would write my big task let's say i'm working on taxes i would write work on taxes and then i would write down all the little steps i need to go find this document that document that document i need to download it i need to scan a document in i need to give it to my bookkeeper i need to you know what i mean there's so many different parts and pieces that go with doing the taxes or you know preparing for taxes monthlies are primarily for schedules uh for work um and i used it for personal and work but now i'm starting to use it as for more of a work situation and travel situation or anytime there's my kids schedule that i am involved in the weeklies i've changed quite a bit you guys so i let's start from the top i was trying to be creative this is not my style of planning so when I go back to this, like I love looking at Coffee Monster Co. videos, but then I can never do what she does. First of all, my writing is not the same. Second of all, I just, the sticker situation, I love stickers, don't get me wrong. And I have a lot of it, but it's just not my style, okay? Um, I need this for functional needs. And so I've done that. I've done time tracking, which I'm big on. I still love time tracking, you guys. I've done the Alistair method, blocking out Saturday and Sunday, 
and keeping it nice and minimal um, to write down all the schedules. I've tried to do some routines and things, track them, not a tracker. <laughs> I try to um, put the different functions of my life in different blocks. Not me. I would just get so busy. My eyes are too busy at looking at this that I end up not just like closing it and then going to my notion. This is the week, which is last week, that I started getting it. What do you really need out of this planner? Why do you need paper planner when you have everything on Notion? So my answer is very simple. I need a place to help me track my sleep and my work hours. I'm using this to extract the time that was worked. So anything in yellow is the time I worked and then how much I slept. And sleeping is no more than just like going to my sleep app on my phone because I wear my Apple Watch and my sleep ring. Because my work hours is where it's at right now. I am 100% taking care of the kids when it comes to their schedules, any family functions, anything at all that has to do with family, like home admin. As a person that does that, work hours are secondary. My work hours need to be recorded somehow so that I can figure out how many hours in a week can I actually work? Like, am I actually allowed to work on things, right? On work. Um, so 35 hours on this week. And this is being 100% realistic instead of me, you know, burning myself physically and mentally to work, you know, make 60 hour week or, you know, something like that while 100% taking care of the family. It's just not a possible thing for me. And it was hard for me to accept that for many, many years. Cause I was always like, why can't I get more work done? Why can't I get more work done? Then you start thinking like, oh, why, why is my family in my way? No, that's the wrong way of thinking because you're working for your family to feed your family, to make your family have a quality life. When I came to that conclusion, I decided I need to sleep better so that when I do have those 35 hours in a week to work, those little buckets throughout the kids' schedules and family schedules, then I am able to work fully focused, laser focused during those 35 hours. And so in order to do that, I need to know how much I'm sleeping, right? So I need to know my sleeping pattern and how it relates to whatever many hours I had in the week to work. So this is how I'm using this. I am not going to do any more like what, you know, memory keep, stickers, all that kind of stuff. Maybe I'll do stickers, uh, we'll see. But primarily this is going to be used for extracting these hours, the sleep and the work. The dailies are gonna be used for whatever and whatever and whenever. I can go literally, if I open up a page empty in April, right, like four, nine, four, ten is what I'll use to write a list in the month of September. And I will record that here. Where is that? Record that here, four, nine and 410 and I will write, okay, this is the list I made. So that's going to be the way I'm gonna use my dailies because I don't need to journal here all the time. In fact, my journal, my main journal for the year is going to be this. My home tasks, my personal tasks and my work tasks that I decided, I told you in my last video that I'm gonna try to use one in one. No more. I'm going to use my Notion for all of that. All of my task lists, everything is going to be in Notion. I'm going to use um, this for my journaling. Honestly, this is going to be where I sticker, I paint, whatever I want to do here. Um, and then this Han, this new Han next year is going to be, again, used the same way. Weeklies to extract hours, sleep patterns, and my work time and then dailies for using it as a page and not as like April 1st. That's how I'm gonna use this. That's it, thanks for sticking around and I'll see you in the next video, bye.